In that book, Unlocking the Moon's Secrets, I talk about two subjects. One is the controversy over the moon's craters, and the other is the controversy over the origin of the moon itself. Galileo was the first person to use a telescope for science, and one of the first things he looked at was the moon, and he saw these craters, these round circles on the moon. He didn't know what they were, but he did not say they were volcanic. Then another famous scientist uh, named Robert Hooke conducted some experiments, and he found out that if he dropped pebbles or bullets or some small object onto a kind of a mud slurry, they would produce these same sorts of craters. But then he said, but we don't know of anything up in the sky that could fall and hit the earth. This was before meteorites had been discovered. So the only possible explanation, if the moon's craters weren't formed by something coming from above, they were formed by something rising from below, namely lavas and so on and so forth.